Today, I'm going to be making shrimp pad thai. It's one of my favorite Thai comfort foods. You can vary this however you would like. If you would like it vegetarian, simply add tofu. Today, I'm going to be using prawns. I just love prawns and they are perfect in this dish. The first two things we wanna to do to make sure that we are ready to put everything into our pad thai saute pan is to get the noodles done and then rinse the shrimp. I use several favorite ingredients in it. One of the first, is this forbidden rice pad thai noodle. Forbidden rice is a black rice. This one just makes a really dramatic dish. So what we're going to do is boil the noodle. Four minutes, we have our water boiling. We're going to put this in a little at a time, but pretty quickly, and just make sure everything gets in the pan and give it a stir and keep coming back to it about every minute, every 45 seconds, give it another stir just gently. Rice noodles are a little tricky for some people to cook. You have to cook them just until they're al dente. If you don't stop the cooking process at that time, they will just naturally form a large sticky dough ball. A good way to check to see if a noodle is done is while it's hot, hold it up and once they hang straight down, they're pretty much there. Plus give it just a little pinch and it should give then we're going to rinse it in cold water, stop the cooking process, and set it aside. And then when we have our hot sauce going, then we'll add the noodle back to the pan and that's going to bring it right back to life. I always like to rinse the shrimp before I use them just because sometimes there's little bits of shell or bits of the shrimp that might be packed into it. So you can, of course, buy a pre-made pad thai sauce. Uh, I prefer to make my own. First, we'll juice a few limes. Usually one lime will give us about a quarter cup into the lime juice. I'm adding one quarter cup of our brown sugar, quarter cup of fish sauce, two tablespoons of tamari, one tablespoon of sriracha, and that's it. We just set that aside until we're ready to put it in towards the end of the, the saute. I like to use shallots in this dish, but it is also traditional to use green onion. For the peanuts, I'm using a roasted and salted shelled peanut. Put it in a Ziploc bag and just hit it with a meat mallet. We have everything in place now for our pad thai. The way we're going to do this, start with our shrimp. The shrimp is going to go into a very hot pan. That peanut oil is going to likely flare up a little bit on us. That's perfectly normal. We're gonna saute that for about a minute, minute and a half. Remove the shrimp and then do the onion and the garlic with just a touch more oil. We'll cook that for another minute. That will go to the side of the pan. We'll add the eggs. The eggs only cook for about 20 seconds. Slide that over and then our sauce will go in. Once we have the sauce in there, we reduce it really rapidly and bring the shrimp and everything back into the pan, add the noodles. And then once we have it tossed together, it's all hot, heated through, turn the heat off. We're going to add the veggies and the peanuts and everything at the very end. And there it is, our shrimp pad thai with forbidden rice noodles. It's fantastic, delicious, smells wonderful. It comes together in a flash. It's healthy, gluten-free, wintry comfort food.